Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech Lifestyle. What's up, Rec Tech family? Watch this whole video and see if you can spot Rex. If you do, put in the comment section the timestamp that you see him and your favorite dish of the day, and you may win something. How do you dance with bluegrass music? I usually do, just do, one, do one of these. I usually just do a little noodle. Yeah, a little noodle. <laughs> Y'all can hear that? Can everybody hear that? <laughs> do a little do-si-do. Yee! Craig was... Oh, 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 oh. Is this a faucet? Awesome? Oh. It's a hoot me. It's a hoot me. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Hey guys, thank you for joining us live. It's fun day Friday. Uh, what is today's date, Brooke? Today's day is May 24th, and that means it's banjo barbecue time. It's banjo Woo! 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 We are out here celebrating the how what, what is the what number is this, Brooke? Number 10, our number 10th, 10th anniversary. 10th anniversary of Papa Joe's Band Jerry. Yeah. You're the in biggest Augusta, and the Georgia. best. Yes. The biggest and the best. Absolutely. This is like a, a very huge payout. That's why we like to compete yeah, for it. the money. Right there. Uh, but it's also, oh, our, oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> it's also our favorite uh, because it's our local uh, barbecue competition. So that's why we are always here to celebrate um, and, and push you guys for sure. So. Brooke is here. This is Brooke Arnold. Hi. Um, she is here from Papa Joe's Banjo BQ and AB Beverage. And she's just going to give us a little rundown today uh, of what's going to go on. Um, right now, what is happening right now, Brooke? Right now, we are setting up for Banjo BQ. Gates open at 4 o'clock today. We will have live music starting at 4.30. Bands go on. The headliner tonight is Green Sky Bluegrass. <laughs> Whoa. So Woo. we have tons of folk music, Americana. Um, local bands all the way up to big ones all the way out of Denver, Colorado, but it's not all about the music Obviously, we have a barbecue competition too. We have 78 competition cookers There you go. We got a lot going on uh, We have 78 uh, oh, wow. Competition barbecue teams and they're gonna be competing for that prize money Right. Um, it's all and about the money, baby. All about the money. And that and banjo that And that banjo. How much is that money, Brooke? Do you know? I do not. It's I, like ten thousand. It's a lot. It's a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand. Let's just call it that. <laughs> <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> no, it's a lot. There's a, there's a much higher payout. Please excuse us for not knowing the exact number. Um, we're we're in it for one thing. It's the banjo. It's the banjo. The grand champion. Ding, 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 ding. It looks really good. Is it? It looks awesome. amazing. It now, looks is there amazing. a local artist or anything that makes that? Um, Chris Rucker with Crew Who does all of our graphic design, so we are known for lots of cool signage, t-shirts, all of our merch is done by Chris Rucker and his team at Crew Who, and they're awesome. Very cool. Shout yep. out Crew Who. Yep. But yeah, no, there's a lot of, like you said, a lot of awesome signage. Very cool. Um, yeah. But besides um, the music, uh, besides the barbecue, man, you got, besides... We've got a lot of, curls. A lot of craft beers. We have right over here. 40 craft breweries here. And craft beers. We have local breweries. Um, and we're known for some pretty reasonable beer. It's only Absolutely. $4 for a beer yeah. token. So, really good vendors out there getting set up. Yep, we've got um, barbecue vendors. So you can come out and eat some barbecue, drink some beer, listen to music. This is a family-friendly event for all ages mm -hmm. and dogs. So we got, pig, we, got, we got what pig races? We got pig races. We have a petting zoo. We have um, some. We're gonna have some water slides out there. A couple different um, oh, kids that? can make their own like mock banjo or banjos awesome. and lots of stuff for the whole family to do out here. And you gotta come out and meet Roscoe, the 750 pound pig. Yeah, we oh. saw him strutting <laughs> across the field. <laughs> he was galloping like a Clydesdale. He's huge. He's huge. Oh. He's huge. So come meet Roscoe. Yeah, they got pig races. Uh, there's also a, a cool dog show. Um, you know, they they have a kids' Q competition as well. This is a KCBS sanctioned event, uh, so you know there's going to be none. Uh, uh, there's only going to be uh, the best cookers from around the south. I think 80% sure. of the teams here have won multiple grand championships. Wow. wow. It's a stacked field That's for sure. Awesome. That's Absolutely. awesome. Absolutely. We're never the underdogs. So, so where, if, if nobody, if they haven't purchased tickets just yet, Brooke, yes. where else can they purchase so tickets? They can get online and purchase tickets at banjobq.com or you can get them at the gate when you get here today. Gates open at 4 today. They open at 11.30 tomorrow morning and the concert goes until 11 each night. But tonight we have a new special 
First thing going right. on, first annual Midnight Moon Hauler. It's the Banjo BQ official after party. Right up the hill at the Julian Smith Casino. We've got three different bands. That's going to be going on from 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. tonight. Woo! It's going to be a party down there. Uh, we've also got tent camping set up on the lake, RV camping up the hill. So it's really a beautiful environment to be down here at Lake Olmstead Stadium for the first year. Yeah, it's going to be great weather, uh, no chance of rain, so it's going to be absolutely amazing. Brooke, thank you so much again Thanks, for guys. coming out and joining us. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. Hug. You got work to do. Yep. Yeah, See get out later. Here, Go do some work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's come and check out the Mambo spot. We got everything out here. We got literally almost everything out here. We got the chuck wagon. We got the wild side. Wild side's over there. We got the BFG. We got a, a RT700. We got the bull. We got our GM got Ben. Ben and it's the Fox. What's up? Check out his flip flops. I'm like the bobblehead, dude. I know, I know. I, know. I should have brought my bobblehead. You should have yeah, well, just, yeah, had it sitting on your shoulder. Like guys, of course. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> you see the BFG here. Last week we fit those 60. Uh, spare ribs on there to cook for the uh, rib eating competition. It was absolutely amazing. So, Chef Greg, what do we have on tap this Friday and Saturday for Papa Joe's Banjo? Nothing but the best competition barbecue. So, you guys have been with us for Fun Day Friday for the last four weeks. We've showed you We've our chicken. You. We've showed you our ribs. We've showed you our pork. We've showed you our brisket. Today is the day you bring it all together. Full circle. Class is over. We're going, we're, we're going first place on this one. We're going ham, guys. Join us live. Make sure you set your notifications. That way you know when we're going live, we're going to be popping up sporadically all during the competition, yep. showing you behind the scenes yep. stuff in the Mamba. We're going to be talking with uh, competition cookers as well. Hot Wachulas is here. Killer Bees Barbecue is here. Who else we got? We got a Casanova Barbecue Company Casanova's in Casanova's coming. Uh, Carlo's coming. Uh, there's a Winks uh, Barbecue is also, um, but there are a lot of other Rec Tech competitors here. Uh, but if you're in the Augusta area, we definitely encourage you to come on out here Check to us Papa out. Joe's Banjo BQ. The co-founders are coming. Ray and Ron, they're coming out here. Boss Man Ben's already out here. Woo. Wear your Thanks. red shirts. Bring your sunscreen. <laughs> That's right. Wear your red skirts. Skirts? Skirts. 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 <laughs> you, Ladies. You wear skirts. Hey. Ladies, wear your red skirts. <laughs> And your sunscreen, wear your uh, your sunglasses. Make sure you have a hat and bring some water, uh, just to drink, you know, and have fun. Yep. Uh, hydrate yourself. I need water right now. Man, come, check, come check out our schedule here, Country Come check out the schedule. Schedule. We've already got the schedule wrote down on the Mamba. Schedule. All right, buddy. Our turn-in time is most important. You can't forget. Chicken's first up at noon. Ribs are right after that at 12:30. Pork at one. Brisket at 1:30. These are my most important times. This is what I'm gonna put all of my food on. So tonight. Uh, 10 o'clock, the briskets will go on. About 2 a.m., I'll put my pork on. My ribs will go on at 6.45. My chicken at 9. Now, one thing to consider, it is going to be hot and humid, which means our cooking's going to go a little bit quicker. So we, we kind of shortened our schedule by about 30 minutes. We still have about 15 minutes of play to get that done. But I'm excited. Those briskets we cut up yesterday. Yeah. Man, yeah. that cow cattle company. Yeah, shout they, out. They gave us some spectacular Shout out to Cow Cattle briskets. Company for hooking us up with all the briskets See, on all of our competition coats. If you guys want to check out some fantastic American Wagyu, check them out. Cowsteaks.com, everybody. Yeah. Um, but last week's, uh, if you guys want to learn uh, how to win a Rectech prize pack, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Last week's winner was Mr. Andrew Dobbins. Congratulations, Woo, what's up, Andrew. Andrew. Good job, buddy. Woo! We need you to email Madeline, M-A-D-E-L-I-N-E, -E, at rectechgrills.com. Uh, email Madeline, and she will get you that Rectech prize pack headed right out there to you. Uh, we really do appreciate it, Andrew. And make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because you, too, could win yourself a Rectech prize pack just by watching this whole Fun Day Friday uploaded on Monday. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Me, I want to send a, a very happy birthday to my dad, Dylan Flanagan. Happy birthday, Dad. I love you. And then uh, we've got a couple graduates. Uh, my little sister, my littlest sister, Emily Flanagan, is graduating from Harlem High School today. Congratulations, Emily. Emily. And then Colton Carnes, the co, the co, co, the co-founder junior, uh, he's graduating tomorrow. So congratulations, Colton. Congratulations, Emily. Uh, we love both of you. We know you guys are going to go off and, and do bigger things than us for sure. Um, but it's Fun Day Friday. We're at Papa Joe's Banjo BQ. We're excited. We're ready to kick some booty. Make sure you follow us, guys. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Woo! Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Woo! Do, do, do. Woo! 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 Rec Tech lifestyle. Woo! Set it and forget it.
just us going down. Live your life the way you like. It's the red lifestyle. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. <laughs> there you go. Bear, bear, bear. Look at this brisket. 17.78 pounds of American raised cow cattle company Wagyu. This mm. guy right here is first place brisket. Mm. Look at the marbling on that flat. Look at all that. Mm. That, my friends, is going to be delicious. Hey, look at that right there. Oh my God. Cowsteaks.com. You guys go to cowsteaks.com. Uh, check out this American Wagyu. It's not Japanese Wagyu. This is American Wagyu. So right here in the U.S. of A. You know, I, I heard a joke this morning. Or not a joke. Oh, tell it us. Was, it was, tell us. <laughs> I'm going I'm to ruin it. But, you know, for lunch today, we're going we're gonna to cook off some uh, jalapeno and cheddar sausages and other stuff. Sounds delicious. But you can't, you can't spell sausage. Without USA. Without USA. That's right. saw you that. saw that this morning? I saw it. I don't know. I think it was last night. I, I got a chuckle at that. But we have the best brisket. Yeah. We're, we're going to pair it up with some fantastic rubs. Uh, Brian Jarvis from Atlanta. Yeah, Brian, get over here. Hmm. He's been he's been hooking it up. So if you guys been ordering, uh, we've had some Cimarron docks, some smoking guns, all of our injections. It's coming from this guy right here. So if you guys want to make world championship level barbecue, pick you up a cow brisket. Shoot Brian and Ellen a message on Facebook. Get you some of these injections. Get you some of these rubs. And you too can be the king of the cold sack. And use the discount code. Got you. Rec Tech 10 till the end of the month. Capital R E C T E C. Because that's the only way to spell it. 10. 10% 10 off the entire month. So, Brian, you got a bunch of stuff to choose from on your website. What's your favorite to use? What is my favorite to use? What's your go-to? Um, Simmer on Dogs. It's, really, it's got to be Simmer on Dogs. Yeah, Simmer on Dogs will be my finishing rub on chicken, ribs, and pork. Um, I use Sim Dogs on pork and ribs. Um, and there, I also use Let It Ride. Um, the All In's pretty damn tasty. I'll, I'll give in, you that. All In is the brisket. Um, I'm going to use that. We got a new rub out now called Cow Whisperer and Tejas Q Candy. I'm going to be running that on brisket this week. Um, and then chicken, I'm using Gold Star Chicken and uh, Killer Bee Honey. There you go. There's my Killer, recipe. Killer there you go. Go. There you go. <laughs> so if you guys want to go ahead and just come on down to, to Augusta, Georgia and enter this contest, you can come like Brian. He just, yeah. he just told you. I told you everything you, can, you know. You can take my times and yep. Brian's Recipes. rub and you're good to go. Yeah. You two can make World Championship Barbecue. So, Brian, we appreciate you being here. And watch a few you. episodes of Fun Day Friday. Got you. The last yeah. four last episodes four of Fun Day Friday. Friday. Thank you all. And then uh, we'll go out front door or back door? Let's go out, Let's go out, out door. door. We'll cut that up in a minute. Sounds Delicious. Do, do, do. Let's do it. All right. Hey. So, it is a, a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm super excited. Uh, awesome. What are we going to be doing next segment, Chef? So we have some mahi mahi. So we talked about Colin graduating the other week. Right, right. So him and Ray went fishing in Charleston, and they caught some of the biggest mahi mahi I've ever seen on on the, on the East Coast come to Charleston. It must have been I don't know twenty foot long, seven thousand pounds. Wow. Mm, they geez, were delicious looking mahi. Huge. Unclaimed. <laughs> Unclaimed. Um, but again, we got some mahi mahi cleaned up. We'll get that roasted off on the uh, Bull RT seven hundred. We got a grill mat. We'll hit it with some Asian persuasion, a little bit of dirty oh, girl, hey. and we're gonna make some fish tacos because. We've been eating a lot of barbecue. A lot of barbecue, everybody. And we have a we're lot of barbecue. Kind of we're light. Eating, yeah. We're eating a lot of barbecue tomorrow. Mm. So we want to make sure that today we eat something completely different so that tomorrow when we're tasting this chicken, these ribs, these pork butts and brisket, our palates are ready. Absolutely. We're cleansing our palates. You know, uh, I had a buddy in college that uh, to cleanse his palate, he would just eat ginger, that, that red ginger. I love pickle ginger, man. Pickle ginger, uh, that would really get you too. You can also cleanse your palate by uh, by smelling coffee. Mm -hmm. That'll also help you I out. I learned that from you when we were actually doing the brisket uh, two right. Monday Fridays ago. That's right. It'll also help you smell perfumes and stuff like that. So There you go. Um, but yeah, guys, set your notifications. That way you know when we're gonna be going live next. We're out here live at Papa Joe's Band, Joe BQ 2019 in Augusta, Georgia. Don't forget, we go live on Twitter. Our Twitter expert, Jordan, Johnson will be doing some behind the scenes stuff. So make sure you go to right to Twitter after you leave us here. We'll see you at the rec tank. I'm gonna do banjo. Hit it. Banjo.
ding 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 Man, I just want to send a big, special, huge RecTech shout out to all those who attended RecTech Academy 2018. We love you. Mm. Oh man, we're out here. It's Papa Joe's Bench. Oh, hey! oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, hey, hopefully it warms up. He's got his barbecue man, shorts. It's chilly. Hopefully it warms chilly today. Up. I feel yeah. chilly. I've got this chilly sweat. What are we cooking? Well, actually, we're going to ask you yeah. that. Well, it so <laughs> happens that I went and caught some Mai Mai. Where'd you get those out of, right, right? Ooh. Well, got these uh, 60 miles out off of, out of Charleston. Woo! We got the dirty persuasion on here. Ed Stokes was nice to uh, take me out, out on his yacht. And a uh, really nice man I met. And uh, we caught these fish. And we're going to grill them up at what temperature? We're gonna go 375 for about 12, about 12 minutes. 375, about 12 minutes. Oh, Ballyhoo. Ballyhoo. We're trolling for, with Ballyhoo, and okay. uh, we had they had teasers out and all that. We caught some uh, black uh, tail tuna, a uh, yellowfin tuna, a barracuda. Barracuda. Nice. Uh, one big barracuda. And, and y'all got to take hold of right? Yeah, and we got to take hold and caught a bunch of the mai mai. Awesome. Clean them up yesterday, got them back and sealed, good to go, and yeah. we're eating fresh mahi mahi today. Because my, my you can't eat barbecue at a barbecue contest. You got to have something different for that That's palate. Right. So That's right. right. Rock out some fish tacos. Yeah. Got to. I heard uh, John went around and got some stories from uh, all the yeah, rectech and, and the competitors. Hey, yeah, you guys, make sure you follow us on Joe. Instagram. Oh, catch the story. Is Chef that going to be a post? There? Yeah, we've got them up. They're already on our. How many our... competitors are using uh, rectech? I think we had about nine so far, and I think there were some that were using them that we didn't see because they have them tucked behind there. That's awesome. You know, they're uh, all they didn't want to let so definitely right. well secret represented weapons. out secret here. Secret weapon. Papa Joe's banjo Joe BQ. Uh, but. Chef Greg, we're cooking these at what temperature? So we got 375 degrees on this Bull RT700. We're only burning the pellet we use. It's the Ultimate Blend Red Oak, White Oak, and Hickory. It's the only pellet we're burning today for our competition. These four bowls back here are going to do work. Yeah. One's going to be for brisket, one ribs, one chicken, one pork butt. First place right here. So what do we season these uh, mahi up with? We did a little dirty persuasion. So we got that Dirty Girl Bloody Mary rub and some Jody's Asian persuasion. It's a great combination for fish. You get that sweet and that heat. You get that umami from that Asian flavor in there. And on taco, we get a nice, crisp uh, citrus and ginger slaw to go on there. Mm, great. What, where can they get those seasonings? Rectechgrills.com. Oh, yeah, I was funny you should ask. Yeah. <laughs> I was also going to ask, can we use any other of our seasonings on this one? So the beauty of all of our rubs is they're universal. They're great for everything. If you want a little spice, use that Kick and Joe Espresso rub. You want a little sweet, go with the Honey Rib rub. You want some savory, that Heifer Duster Raised Front Row Master Blend, fantastic. You want some good herby notes, cold as freaking Greek. Again, our rubs are made for everything. Everything. And they also play nice with each other. So you can, you know, talk about layering flavors. That's right. If you want some heat, you want some savory. Well, then grab that ancho, uh, the espresso rub, and maybe put it with rays and, and get something special. You never know. I made an aioli yesterday. I made, I made a crab cake sandwich for lunch yesterday. Nice. I made an aioli. I put honey rib rub in the aioli. It was phenomenal, man. I just so did good. some mayo, some sriracha, hot sauce, oh, yeah. a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard, and some uh, honey uh, or honey rib. Mix it up. Put it on play. the sandwich. Oh, that'll play. Some yeah. fresh tomatoes. Just, oh. This guy's just got a treat. It's the official, it's the official <laughs> chef of Rectech right here. Right here. <laughs> recipe right here. But besides mahi, chef, you know we're getting, we're doing something super light. Besides mahi, whatever the fish would be really, really good right now on a taco. Oh and man, heat. you could use grouper, halibut. Um, Corvina is really special. Uh, we did some really good. Chef John joined me on After Hours Wednesday. We did some of that black tip shark and tuna. It was, it was off the chain. Really the nachos were ridiculous. Why is it got to be black, chef? Because <laughs> that was the shark. Yeah, I mean, that was the know, tip of the shark. And it, it just so happened that it, it worked out. So, um, but again, that, that pile of nachos was fantastic. Was. But mm -hmm. any any fish would be great. I mean, I, I would leave the Dover sole and the flounder in the in the fish case. But pretty much everything else would be fine. Okay. Salmon would be good. Shrimp, scallops. Well, you made Dover sole the other day, right? We did. Yeah, we rolled it up with some crab and made a uh, veronese on it when, uh, when Ray and Jeff, uh, I'm sorry, Ron and Jeff were visiting. That's so right. Crazy. Absolutely. So. Uh, we're out here, Papa Joe's Banjo BQ. Okay, we're getting ready. Tomorrow is when it all starts. Pretty much tonight at two a.m. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock is the first thing we'll go on. Our big okay, meets. ten o'clock. Excuse me. Yep. All right, 
Okay. He said vague things. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sleeping here? Yeah. Our brisket goes on at 10. Then okay. we got a 2 o'clock, we'll put a, our pork on, and then at a 6.45, our ribs will go down, and at 9 o'clock, our chicken will go down. Okay. And then we're going to be turning the beans, right? Yep, that's tonight at 6. Absolutely. So, yes to your thing. What were you going to say, Shane? Are we, giving away a, are we giving away a grill tomorrow? You got to start right with y'all. Hey! Hey! <laughs> now, now to, to be completely honest, I don't know if we're going to give it away tomorrow, but we are giving away a grill. And the only way for you to know how to give that, how to, to enter to win that grill is to come out here to Papa Joe's Banjo BQ. There is no other way. We're not going to take pictures. We're not going to show you how to do it. You got you to gotta get your tail out here and you just may win yourself a new Erectec grill. Come let us give you a drink. Sure. Hospitality. This is all this is about right here. Hospitality. We want to welcome you guys into our family. You guys come out and see us. Show them our setup, man. Yeah, walk yeah. They, them yeah, walk them around. Have you already showed them? No, well, yeah, we on, showed them a little bit. So you guys know the Chuck Wagon is here. We're right there, country. Right here. Chuck Wagon uh, is equipped with two Bull RT700s. It also has the Beast on it. We put a 204 pound compact drock whole hog in here. We're doing a whole hog tonight. Whole hog. Whole hogs. Doing 150 so counter tonight. Yep. You guys check it out at rectechgrills.com. You can get it in trailer mounted form or you can get it in cart mounted form. Cart mounted form is called the Beast. We also got the uh, uh, B uh, BFG oh, RT 2500 here. We're going to rock out some ribs tomorrow. <laughs> this thing can fit 30 10 pound pork butts. We also fit 60 spare ribs here. Uh, on this one here for Memphis in May. It was absolutely amazing. All at one time. 53 pound hopper in that grill. Do not show that side yeah. right there. Yeah. That's what I was trying to. But these beautiful horns here, boy, they horns sure are beautiful. So nice. Uh, we got the uh, Stampede out here on display. RT 590. We doubled the warranty mm -hmm. about six months ago. It now has a four year warranty. Yeah, that's nice. Then we got the Bull RT700, our competition car with the front folding shelf. This thing is bad to the bottom. You can see it's on that, uh, it's that all terrain. It's that crooked stand. This, this is the four wheel This is the four wheel drive. This thing ain't going nowhere. You can park it on a hill and ain't going nowhere. This thing is bad to the bone. All of this stuff is available at rectechgirls.com. Guys, check out the wild side here. Oh, this is our man. only one that doesn't cook with pellets. You know? This is uh, the wild side. Ray's oh. going to demo oh, it right Oh, Ray's there. got it right here, baby. He's showing a guy. This is Jimmy Patrick. So it's, uh, you put wood, real wood or uh, barbecue in here. I mean, uh, charcoal in here. It's got a variable speed fan. You can also use the optional lid. Steel lid. You can use the lid as a sunshade. This is your PID, personal improvised device. There you go. <laughs> that thing will go all the way down to the fire. All the way down, so if you want to do caveman style. You can do two rotisseries, hook them up right here. And this is a warming oven. You've got two power outlets okay, in the back so again you can plug your wild side in and you've got two outlets there you could easily have two rotisseries going or you can have uh two other rectex going honestly it just depends and so what's that cooking tank made out of that's cooking tank 304, 304 stainless steel there's a 30 pound solid plate of 304 stainless steel come check out this fish Let's do it. again PID controlled, Y pellet, Wi Fi controlled. You set it for 375, you're going to run 375. How do I know we're going to win tomorrow? That's why we're going to win. We're going to set our temp. It's not going to move. It's not going to sway. No temperature swings. Our food is going to be cooked to perfection. Check out this fish. Woo! About five more minutes, we will flake that off with some delicious tacos. How long total time? Uh, we'll do 12 minutes on that fish. 12 minutes. Race out of school. Yay! All right, guys, we're out at Papa Joe's Bed Joe BQ. Uh, make sure you set your notifications. That way you know we're going live. Don't forget, when we go off of air here, we're going live at Twitter with our boy Jordan Johnson. That's right. We'll be hanging out with everybody. That's Rex, absolutely. But we're out. At Papa Joe's Bed Joe BQ 2019, we encourage you. You can win a rec tech. Just come on Just out here and party hang with out us. With Get us. your tickets at banjobq.com. Uh, make sure you follow us on all social media. Set your notifications. We'll be going live in a little while. We'll let you know. Uh, set your notifications. We'll see you at the rec tech. Do, do, do. Do, 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 Rick Tech Lifestyle. Do, do, do. Tacos. Almost as much as I love shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's how I confess my love for things.
to scream it from a mouth. You mouth. should hear. Is that how you propose to Becky? <laughs> you should hear <laughs> what goes on at my house. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just playing. Uh, That's great. But yes, uh, we are live here at Papa Joe's Banjo BQ 2019 here in beautiful Augusta, Georgia at Lake Olmstead Stadium. Man, they have got amazing setup here. We are hooked up with gas and water and power. The mamba's rolling. We got AC going. Every All the cookers are rolling. Man, it smells absolutely amazing out here. Get yourself out here right now. Uh, don't forget the sunscreen and water. But get your ass out here. It's going to be a great time at Papa Joe's Bay Joe 2019. Uh, right now, we took out that mahi mahi and we flaked it up. And we have like a nice uh, ginger Asian slaw on the top because, again, we got Asian seasoning on the fish. And, you know, you got to make it Asian for Joey. Right? Thank you, uh, Raymond Carnes, for catching this 20,000-pound this 20, 20, mahi. Yeah. It was like 19,762 pounds. I round up. We yeah. round up. Mm. Record breaking. Record breaking. It's good. And uh, I my put some cilantro in here. With what? Do my notifications up? are set, and uh, we're live right now. So make sure you guys set your notifications so you know when we go live. We'll be here all weekend at Lake Olmstead. You'll we'll never know what we're going to do, what we're going to post. But <clears throat> Ray said we're giving away a grill. Don't forget, we're giving away a grill. And the only yeah. way for gotta you come here. to be entered in gotta to win that grill is you got to come here to Papa Joe's Banjo Bikini. So we'll, the second thing is you got to sign up for our newsletter. Go to rectechgrills.com, scroll all the way down to the home page, and put your email where it says become an insider. That is the only way, besides coming here, yep. for you to be able to uh, be on the inside track. And of what's check going that on. box. Make sure you get notifications there. Absolutely. Should we show them what they're what they're going to see? So they yeah, let's go. Know, uh, let's go start. take a little. Uh, I'm going to grab a drink. What you want to drink? Jeff? Um, anything cold. Uh, blue can, silver can, it don't matter because it's about a thousand degrees right there. But there'll be live music starting today at 4.30, and then uh, it kicking back up tomorrow at 12.30. Uh, we'll be busy in the Mamba. We got turn-ins at 12, 12.30, 1 and 1.30. Woo! The little little uh, ice water dripped on the back of my ankle. It felt good. We got all the grills here. Chulas, Matt Barber right there, world grand champion. They're talking sauce. They're talking sauce. But 78 of the top-rated barbecue teams are here. That is Kerry Chastain. Looks like he's, uh, Chastain. Looks like he's drinking a Miller Lite in that koozie. So last two weekends ago, I was with Kerry Chastain down in Waynesboro, Georgia at the Boss Hog Barbecue Contest. So we got Kerry Chastain here. He's probably coming What's over up, to Kerry? give us a hard time. We're just talking pigs. We're live on Facebook. What's up? We'll be back. That's a good looking hat he's got there. It is. Best hat on the market. But it's yeah, everybody's be... setting up. Got all the banners from previous band Jobacuse past. Definitely check. Good artwork. They're doing music checks. We got coffee out here. Sound checks. It's like uh let's check it out. Somebody else is rolling in right there. Yeah, VIP area. Oh yeah. Big boy big boy cookies. Big boy cookies. And then uh, you guys do a screenshot right now uh, if you want to have the complete schedule of what's going on for Papa Joe's Van Jefferson this weekend here in Augusta, Georgia. Leftover salmon's after our works. <laughs> I didn't realize we had to cook salmon today. <laughs> but there's the main stage. we got all of these seats covered, uncovered. Plenty of standing room. Plenty of standing room. Should we, uh, should we run the bases? Awesome. Like VIP tents over there with a awesome porch going on. Got the only place that I'll be uh, where they're serving the booze, the beer. Got the dirty girl tent set up in the back. Uh, right by the cider and wine. So make sure you uh, come and check out Dirty Girl Mixers here uh, as well. DGMixers.com. Look at the size of that deck, man. That's big a old deck. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, they actually used to have a, uh, a uh, hot tub. Get it, baby. Can't, also, can't, can't the coolest there. thing is they've got uh, kid porta potties uh, in the uh, right there behind the bouncy house. There's a pink one and a blue one. That's blues for boys, pinks for girls. The okay. guys, we're gonna have a blast here at Papa Joe's Banjo BQ starting today at four o'clock. Bring your rears, bring your family, bring sunscreen. But uh, most importantly, bring a good attitude and get your tails out here. Got it's going to be an amazing time. To. Uh, tonight is going to be an amazing concert. Um, it is 
they are pretty much all the way set up. We're gonna start letting people in at four. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. And then Saturday, it's gonna be on Saturday. It's on, we got it. We're gonna take that uh, elusive that banjo. banjo. So you guys make sure you set your notifications, that way you know when we're going live. Uh, and make sure you follow Jody and myself on social media because I might go live at two o'clock in the morning. Jody might go live Driving up. You never know. Honking the horn at 7 o'clock, waking everybody up. Raising cane. I don't know. You never know. Uh, but make sure you want to you wanna live the Rec Tech lifestyle with us. Follow us on social media. Thank you guys so much for following us and uh, watching us. Man, it is getting hot. Yeah. I have slurred my words <laughs> for watching us on Funday Friday. You guys have a great weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you at Papa Joe's Banjo. We'll see you at the Rec Tech. Woo!